Welcome back to Kirby. Nightmare and fuck land. I really don't like this game anymore. The only reason why I keep playing it is because the satisfaction it will bring me when I know that I don't have to play this game anymore. I know most of its movements, because I've practiced this fight a couple of times. And let me tell you, when you beat this guy, prepare to yell cuss words. You guessed it, Nintendo could not leave it after at the at this ball thing. They had to go further. They had to s say one last fuck you. Give you one middle finger straight up in your face. And for some reason, they don't restore your health at all. If you had one health going after King DDD, you go with one health going against this ball. If you had one health met without after beating the ball, you go one health beating this uh, pedophile looking thing. And if I lose, I don't know. If I lose all my chances, I might not play this game anymore. I might this might be my first uncompleted playthrough. Or let's play. See? Why would it hurt why would it let it hurt you at the beginning when you can't hurt it at the beginning? And I guess I did not hit it. I guess I didn't hit it. And it takes so much hits. So much. It's unbelievable. Thank you for- d Kill me! Kill me! No! I want you to kill me! Thank you. Yeah, I'm feeling suicidal today. Only because of this guy. Okay. Barely any time to react to that one. After this, I'm taking a break. Even I might do the Dream Champ thing, when I'm using 23, I don't know. I might do that, but I also want to start like on an RPG, but you know, I'll probably do the request though. I put myself over the fans, I mean, <laughs> the fans over myself. Come on. You gotta watch out when he does that because for some unexplained reason he can't hurt you. Most of his moves can be avoided if you just hit him real quick. But that one's so hard to hit. He does it really quick to make sure you don't hit him. Most of his moves are really quick to make sure you don't hit him. I just suggest pushing A, not B. Don't try to fire the star rod. Just get close to him, wait for an opening, and then push A. It's not a hard fight, it just takes long. So, yeah. How about the, the playoffs? Oh my gosh, I wish the Lakers didn't win. I know, I'm just rooting for the underdog, naturally, that's me. Like, I kind of knew the Lakers would win, but I was rooting for the Magic the whole time. But there was a lot of cheap shots that they pulled, like, I think it was, what was it? What was it, Game 4? Game 3? No, it was Game 5. Where, uh, the, uh, where Kobe elbowed that dude in the face. That should have totally been offensive. The first three-pointer that uh, Fisher made, awesome. Second one, bullcrap, because they didn't call the foul. Yeah, I play basketball. I just don't play video games all day. What? He gets in cheap shots like that all the time. 
That's why he looks like a pedophile. I mean, come on. If you saw that on your neighborhood on Halloween, there'd be a red flag in front of his, on his door. Which I don't know about you, but that's a sign in my neighborhood to show that that's a pedophile's uh, house and not to go there without a parent or something. Or he'll be like, hey guys, I got some candy in the back. Want to come in and get it? Or he'll be like, hey, yeah, just reach in the bowl and get whatever you like. And then the pervert's penis will be in there. Sorry if I gave you disturbing I images. I do that a lot. I'm just gonna watch out next time he does that bull crap when he comes down. Uh oh. He just hits where exactly where you're where you're at. That's bull. And they only pull it out at the last at these last couple of uh rounds it seems as if just a couple more just a little further I just hope that he uh doesn't pull anything cheap like good I dodged it I would have screamed if I didn't and nobody wants that, especially in the microphone right next to my head. Oh, great! I'm gonna die. Oh, come on. Oh, my gosh! That was so close. Yes! This game is over. It's done. And you know what? I'm so done with this game, I'm not showing the credits. I want to thank you for watching this whole wretched Let's Play until the end. Want to see the credits? Um, look them up on Wikipedia or something. Because I am not showing them. I'll just show the last cutscene. They broke a pe- I thought they dest I thought I destroyed the move. Our hero Kirby has fought bravely to recover the Star Rod. But King DDD didn't mean any harm. Okay. He certainly wasn't trying to harm the Fountain Dreams. It all began when the nightmares appeared in the fountain. The nightmares rode the currents of the Fountain Dreams, wreaking havoc and tormenting the residents of Dreamland. So they attack Kirby, the one person who's trying to help. When King DDD hid the Star Rod source from the whatever. He was actually hiding it safely, so he took it to take it away from the nightmares. Basically, Kirby killed him and then fought the nightmares. And now we're watching him cruising the stars. So flip up your pillow and get a good night's sleep. Nintendo will be watching you. What if he didn't land that? It would have broke and he would look like an idiot trying to look cool. Instead of just being a legitimate person and just taking the time out to go up there and put it in the fountain. Bye. Don't want to play that stupid game again. Credits that we're not going to watch. Bye. Join me next time.